What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie from ElevateYourself.org. I recently got the chance to scrimmage against Beta Bay 18 ones which is one of the best local boys volleyball club teams in the Bay Area. We were invited to try to help them prepare for their junior national tournament. It's always fun to see the upcoming talent and I was really impressed with how good the team was. Many of their players are already committed to playing for certain colleges, one of them being the University of Hawaii, who recently won the national championship. These boys were not only tall and athletic, but technically sound, aggressive, and ran a great offense and defensive system. So their coach definitely knows what he's doing. Unfortunately, I still couldn't figure out how to get my GoPro to record more than four gigabytes at a time, so I'm missing about 30% of all game footage. I also named our team the old guys because some of us were twice the age of some of the Beta Bay athletes and a little rusty. I'll tell you who won the game at the end of this video, so stay tuned for those results. Also, we just launched our summer sale where you receive 10% off all Elevate apparel and we just restocked our Elevate tank tops. So use the discount code and purchase link in the description box. So get your apparel while supplies last. Thank you. 
Man, this team was really good. We couldn't stop their short outside hitter, they blocked well, and served very tough. Plus, their setter was incredibly calm and made many great setting choices. They beat us three sets to one, and they beat us fair and square. I admittedly did not play well. I served well and played solid defense, but my serve receive was inconsistent, my blocking was ineffective, and I struggled to put a ball away. It was humbling to get beat by a bunch of high school kids, but these were much better than your typical high school volleyball player. One thing my college coach, Ron Whitmill, used to say is, it's always good to learn that you're not that good. That was his way of saying that getting beat is a good reminder of how much you still need to improve, as difficult as those experiences can be sometimes. One principle I try to live by is not being afraid to look bad in front of other people if you have an opportunity to make yourself better. Coming into this scrimmage, I could have easily thought to myself, maybe I should say no and not play against this team because some of these boys probably watch my videos and I don't want to look bad in front of my fans by losing or not playing well. Instead of thinking those fearful thoughts, I thought to myself, this is a great opportunity for me to play in a new environment with different people and against a very talented high school team who might have a few fans. All of this adds even more pressure, which is another great opportunity to practice playing under pressure since that is one of my main volleyball goals at the moment. Sometimes it's very easy to let what people think of you get in the way of achieving your goals. So don't be afraid to look bad in front of people especially if you know you're working towards specific goals. This video is a great example of how I wanted to work on playing under pressure and I not only lost, but I played poorly and that's okay because I need to play in a pressure-filled environment in order to get better at it. And just like Ron Whitmill once said, it's always good to learn that you're not that good. If you wanna see more of these videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell so you never miss a video. We'll see you in the next one.